Hello everyone, I am Tanmoy Mitra, editor of ET Edge Insights and today I am in conversation with Dr. S.K. Agarwal. He's from Varanasi, he's been a professor. He specializes in treating uh, people with respiratory ailments, especially asthma patients. Dr. Agarwal, thank you for your time and speaking to ET Edge Insights. Let me begin by asking you, uh, asthmatic patients in India are quite a few and respiratory ailments actually make a lot of uh, patients in India. So can you shed some light on the kind of respiratory ailments that happen in our country and what are the treatments uh, that are associated with it? Right. Asthma as such is uh, very common but still what I feel that patients are on oral therapy. Right. They are still taking oral tablets for this disease but situation is better than what it used to be in 1995 or earlier right since then many inhaled therapy that has come in the market that is available small dose is required but because of steroid phobia patients still don't want to take steroid but they are happy with oral steroids this is happening and we did several CMEs, we went to villages also and uh, we started giving lectures also and the dose of steroid given in inhaled form through inhalation, this uh, meter dose inhaler or this dry powder inhalation devices, that is very very small and side effects are almost negligible and it is cost effective and patients are happy with this innovation therapy right. and i think more than 90 percent or even more of my patients have stopped taking these oral tablets they, they don't need uh, oral right. steroids right so uh, do you think this apprehension or this fear is it lack of awareness uh, in our country? People are actually reluctant to visit specialists. Like you said, you know, the fear of maybe use of steroids or some medication that they think will be probably deterrent to their health. So is, is, is that the is, thing? Yes, this is because of steroid phobia was there, especially in younger age group. Right. They thought that steroid is a very bad drug but still they used to take steroid orally and they uh, it was a Herculean task to us also to uh, to aware them that how inhaled therapy works in asthma how the bronchial inflammation is taken care of by this inhaled therapy the dose is very small it is in microgram the tablets they are taking that is in milligram so there's hardly any toxicity with this inhalation therapy. Right. So what are the indicators that one should look at if they think, you know, probably, you know, it's uh, leading to uh, bronchitis or going forward, they're becoming asthmatic. So is there particular indicators that people should watch out for and then refer to yes, medical yes, 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 yes. It starts with symptoms like running nose. Running nose is quite common. Sneezing is there, it starts with bees, and the very common sim symptom is breathlessness on exertion. And whenever they run, whenever they, they do any type of exercise, they are dyspneic. So these are the patients they come to us. Right. And when we do pulmonary function test, we find that this is a this is a case of bronchitis. Right, right. Uh, you just mentioned how, in case of any pulmonary diseases and the treatment. It has progressed over the years. I mean, what it was in the 90s, probably it's much better now. So going forward, how do you see the future? And today with the advent of technology as well, a lot of improvements and continuous innovations happening. So uh, in your words, if you want to assess this, how is it now and going forward, how do you look at it? I started treating, say, it was somewhere in 1995. Right. We started with single monotherapy. Then we came to dual therapy, where it was inhaled corticosteroid and lava. 
that is long acting beta agonist now triple drug combination is also there so now whatever medicines are available in in india they are cost effective and patient needs just a single dose and they are happy with it and patient has not to take for whole life that is and when one's patient is better right what we do we do step down therapy for example if patient is taken say 100 that is the say and once patient is better we reduce it to say 75 then 50 then 25 and and it, it comes to 10 and then say zero patient right. is happy right. even without any medicine so patient has not to take medicine for years but patient has to start this treatment early right to prevent this structural changes occurring in the bronchial tubes on that note dr agarwal thank you for your invaluable time and uh, i wish you all the best for uh, your future endeavors and thank you very much that was dr agarwal uh, i'm tanmoy mitra signing off for et edge insights stay tuned for more such episodes like this thank you very much